I'm Lisa Lovebucket and I'm here tonight to Queer the Dorman. Hi, my name's Peggy Sugar Wells and we're here at the Dorman Museum in Middlesbrough with Curious Arts and we're just queering the space and all kinds of fabulous things happening tonight. We're just branching out, trying new things, wanting to connect with new audiences. We have lived just around the corner for like six years. I've only been at the Dorman once, purely just to go for food. But tonight, uh, with it being Curious Arts, with it being a queer event, thought we've got to give it a go, we've got to go and have a look. We want to support the local queer community because we are part of the queer community. It's really nice for the museum to be able to play its part in promoting pride and awareness in Middlesbrough and in the Tees Valley. To see it sort of lit up in rainbow colours, you sort of think, oh, we should do this every Friday night. I have been the tour guide for the first section of uh, Curious Night at the museum. I've been wandering around a fake street that's been put in the Dolma Museum, given a little taste of the local LGBTQ life from the 20th century. It's really important to constantly question social constructs. I feel like society has evolved, so I really want to kind of just show my idea of what a man can be. So I'm Richard Bliss and I'm on a quest to make the perfect shirt. And I do that in places like here at the Dorman Museum where I, I make my shirts in public in order to gather stories about masculinity. The shirts are a little bit magic because people just start to tell me about their dads, their brothers, their lovers, men that they know. And all those stories then inform the next shirt that I make in a way of trying to understand this complicated thing called masculinity. We're in the art room and we're making protest posters and we're screen printing tote bags and just enjoying each other's company. There have been different stages and become a, a getting equality and protest and, and protest art have been there all the way along. It's important that, that we do protest art and we we teach about protest art and we teach about protest in general. We need to still fight for our freedom and fight for other people's freedom and for their right to be who they are. It's really important to hold something in a space like this where people know that it's a space to expand your mind, expand your horizon, something where you can learn. I have been collecting the hidden queer history of the Tees Valley. Being a town of steel and iron, sometimes it's been a little bit overlooked. It's there, we just haven't heard about it. So what we've been doing as people come in, we've been inviting them to share a memory with us on a map. So on one side they write their memory and on the other side the location. This could be anything from the first time they saw a drag show, it may be somewhere where someone came out to them, it could be their first gay kiss, maybe they went to a support group, something fabulous that they haven't shared before and what we're doing is collecting them, we're putting them on the map and at the end of the night we'll take them away and then they're going to be plotted onto an online map so that we'll have a growing queer history of the Tees Valley. We are a bigger, wider community and we are everywhere and we need to take up space everywhere um, so I think it's really exciting and important to be somewhere like the Dorman Museum. We've just had a brilliant time voguing with Jay and Layla which is something that has pushed us both completely out of our comfort zones. Just, just a bit. Um, yeah I have very little coordination and in a different situation I wouldn't have wanted to do something like that in public. I feel a bit emboldened by being amongst queer folks and it being a really accepting environment. It's a brilliant event and I really hope to see more things like this in the future. I've just been voguing and it was absolutely fantastic and that kind of message of solidarity, that message that everybody should be allowed to be themselves and to be welcomed to be themselves and that we should all speak up in solidarity with one another for our individual beings because we're all important, we're all worth it and we all deserve to be ourselves. 